I was just going through some of the uh, subscribers. You know, it's weird that all of the the snooty fucks that go around to different channels like armchairs of mine and they they poke fun at people and they poke fun at people's experience and the way people live their life and shit that they've been through or something that they've talked about. The one thing that I've noticed they all have in common is A, it's either a brand new channel or B, they all have the same fucking channels in their watch list. The, uh, the Watts people. It's like its own little fucking group of very young people. Very, very strange. It's very odd. I guess that tells you the age group. You know, you guys, some of you, unbelievable. You know, if we were talking about politics and somebody posted a comment and says, no, nah, I, I really don't agree. I actually like Obama. I could debate about politics. I could debate, I could debate about a lot of different things. I love healthy debate. But if I go on and I'm sharing something that I've personally been through and I'm admitting I have fucked up, I have put myself in this position, and this is what I did, and this is how I should have handled it. In retrospect, this is how I should have handled it. And somebody goes on to disagree with my past experience. How is that possible? How do you go on and disagree with somebody's past experience? That would be like one of you guys making a video and saying, I got with a guy, I put my trust in him, I put my money in his bank account, I moved into his house, every time we fought he held his house over my head, then he kicked me out, I had nowhere to live, and he closed the bank account and took all the money, and because I lived that past experience, I now take care of myself, I now have a plan B, and when I date somebody, I don't ever put my trust into them. And then somebody goes into the comments and says, I disagree with you. I think you should put all of your trust in a guy if you meet the right one. Otherwise, you're not giving that guy 100% of yourself. How does that make any fucking sense? Does that make sense to you guys? I could be the one that's fucked up here. But it seems to be the people, like somebody just says that I would lose followers. They disagreed with one of my videos but they didn't say it because I would lose followers? Like, like, I have to have people agree with me? No, God no, I don't need people to agree with me. Just don't tell me that I'm wrong about my own experiences. My videos are made based around my beliefs and my personal experience. So if somebody else is going through a similar situation, it may help them. Okay, that's what my videos are for. You don't have to watch my videos. If you have a set of balls, or you're woman enough, or man enough, you can very easily pick up the camera and make videos based around your experience rather than watch videos of somebody else's and then tell people that they're wrong about their past experience or make fun of the way they look, or make fun of the experience that they're sharing with you guys. Um, there's a fine line between debating an actual topic, not agreeing with somebody on a topic about a situation, and not agreeing with somebody on something they've been through. There's a fine line and there's a huge difference. I just found it really strange that all of these people are connected to the same few channels. Is that fucking weird or what? That it's all the same people that are using the same names to get noticed. Is that fucking weird? You know, another thing, if somebody goes into Daniel's video or armchairs or whatever, and say, like, nobody really knows what the hell Daniel did. Nobody knows why the cops were called. It's none of nobody's business unless Daniel makes a video and says, this is why my wife called the cops. And some fucking ignorant douchebag 
like the same fuck face that was in my comments earlier, goes into Daniel's video and says, oh, the cops were called on him because he beat his wife and projects this image that they actually know what the fuck they're talking about. And then 500 people go on and hit the like button on that comment that A, wasn't true, and B, even if it was fucking true and he did hit his wife, nobody knows what the hell happened that led to that situation. It could have been any number of things. And no, I'm not saying it's okay to hit a woman. And no, I'm not saying it's okay to hit a man. What I'm saying is nobody knows what the fuck happened. You cannot prejudge a situation unless you have all of the facts. So if it turned out to be true and he told the world about it, then you got to at least give him the fucking respect that he deserves for coming on and telling people what happened. But for someone to assume that's what he did and then for... 50 drama queens to jump on and hit the like button. All you're doing is feeding stupidity with a fucking spoon. You're encouraging these very stupid people, these very stupid people, to keep being fucking stupid and to keep creating fictitious channels, hiding because they don't want the world to know what a fuck up they are because they can't admit when they're wrong. They can't admit when they fuck up. They have to go around to other people's channels and make fun of people and poke fun at things that they say because they don't have a life. They've never actually lived. They've never actually experienced life for themselves. They run around every day with the perfect parent syndrome. You know the perfect parent that gives all the perfect advice for parenting and this person doesn't have children? That's what these people are. So don't encourage stupidity. Don't feed somebody a bowl of stupidity with a spoon. Because that's like you saying, I'm perfect. I've never fucked up. Yeah, I can say it's, it's wrong for somebody to do this. I would never do this. But you can't say that because never say never. You don't know what kind of situation you're going to be in. Now, you may never get yourself into the situation that the person next to you has gotten himself into. But if the person next to you has gotten himself into a fucked up situation and that person has the balls to make a video and fucking admit it and go on furthermore to explain how he's learned from it to possibly help somebody else out there and you guys hit the thumbs up on somebody that's kind of taking jabs at that, you're saying in your own right, I'm pathetic, I can't admit when I'm wrong, and I most certainly can't admit that I have fucked up before. Don't judge. When I read comments like this, I always take it as it's a very young person. It's got to be somebody in their early 20s, teens, somebody that's never lived life, somebody that's never you know, been through a divorce, somebody that's never been through child support, somebody that's never been through a custody battle. It had to have been somebody who's never lived life before that go on to poke fun of somebody else. Guys, don't feed their bullshit. They seem to be all with the same group of losers. If they have such valuable life's experience, why the fuck are they poking fun of Daniel and poking fun of me and poking fun of armchair? Why aren't they making videos sharing their experience to help somebody? Fuck, that's right. They tried. Nobody will watch them. 